In the transition period towards electrification, there are still ways to enjoy the rotary engine. It was also installed on the new MX-30 as a range extender, but if you want to send that power directly to the road, the RX-7 is the ideal choice. He is also highly respected by enthusiasts. There are three generations of the RX-7, and the third generation FD type has been attracting attention in recent years. The first generation FB, SA-22, type has value as an original. However, the second generation FC model is also a relatively affordable choice that is full of 1980s charm. Production of the FC model began in 1985. The original European version had a naturally aspirated two-rotor engine that produced a maximum output of 150 PS, but in 1986 it was equipped with a twin scroll turbo. The power was instantly increased to 180 PS. Fasa lifted in 1989. The maximum output of the European version has been increased to 200 PS by reducing the weight of the rotor, increasing compression, and improving the engine control system. This specification is called Turbo II in the UK. The first and third generations were characterized as serious sports cars, but the second generation was more of a grand tourer. The aim was to expand its share in the American market. As a result, a cabriolet, the only RX-7, has been added. This time's vehicle is a 1991 RX-7 Turbo II cabriolet kept by Mazda UK. BBS aluminum wheels and leather interior were standard equipment. Styling has been controversial since then. There's no denying that it resembled the Porsche 944 with its retractable headlights. Mazda engineers are also said to have referenced the Porsche 928 when developing the suspension. Still, I don't think the FC type is a poor man's Porsche. It was a higher level rival that was extremely fun to drive, even at the time. The suspension was on the soft side for a sports car, but it was lightweight, had excellent chassis balance, and had excellent grip. Not only was it comfortable, but it was also good at aggressive cornering. The steering is light and direct. The 5-speed MT allows you to select the next gear quickly and accurately. There was pure joy in controlling it. Furthermore, the true power of the RX-7 is its rotary engine. The characteristic rattling noise when idling turns into a roar as the RPM increases. The scream of the turbocharger also overlaps, providing a unique acoustic experience. It revs willingly up to the rev limit set at 7000 revolutions per minute or 8000 revolutions per minute. The RX-7 Turbo II was claimed to accelerate from 0 to 97 km per hour in 6.7 seconds, but the experience was even sharper than that. The rotary engine is lightweight and compact, and the front nose moves easily. However, careful maintenance is essential to keep it in good condition. If you don't neglect this, you should be able to enjoy a valuable car life. While the popularity of the FD type is increasing, the FC type is also attractive because its transaction prices have not soared that much. Why not find one in good condition before it attracts attention from enthusiasts around the world?